the shorts cover? No? <sighs> Fuck out of here, man. You come back when you got my motherfucking money. That's what you do. Yeah. Anyways, I had a crazy day today. I went live today. <laughs> and weak man finance decides he wants to come on my fucking live and talk shit. And he decides he wants to say, yeah, sure. Let's do a boxing match. All right. You want to do it? I got something for you. Yeah, weak man finance. Let's see how strong you really is, boy. Let's see how strong you really is. You see that set right there, boy? You see that set? I'll beat your ass, boy. Anyways. So, I see some of the apes are talking about uh, logging the flow. <sighs> um... I'm going to respectfully disagree for those who are saying to log floats. Um, the reason why is because we learned, we, we went through safe technologies. You saw what Robinhood did. Huh? Woo, woo, woo. Computer share. That didn't work. And now we're saying something else. <sighs> Listen, I know we're, 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 we're very anxious. We want this to happen. We want this to work. But I think we all should really just be patient. Um, you know, like I said, we're all dealing with these distractions. We're all dealing with the psyche. Like I said, this is psychological warfare. The trolls are coming in my comments. The trolls are coming in your comments. The trolls are all over Twitter. The trolls are all over Facebook, especially Facebook. You know, they're the easiest people to sway. Imagine if all those people just stopped listening to those trolls, those option traders, day traders who claim they know what they're doing. They told they sold them a fucking class. Now they got all the nice terminologies could say certain things, trick all these people into saying, yeah, fuck, fuck away from that stock. And here it is. That stock could fucking change their life. And you motherfuckers is allowing it to happen. Well, like I said, I'm feel for real. I'm here to shake that shit up. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. OK, you want to know the right way? Get at my peoples that I've, that I've been telling you all to watch. Get at my peoples. I've been telling you all the right way. OK, there are, there's another person I want to add to my list. Must haves, you know, Gorilla Knuckles. Shout out to you. Uh, you know, and so we had a great conversation today. Um, and also, um Hopefully, we'll have a live conversation soon. Uh, me and also the Massalorian, uh, I plan on having a conversation with him too. So I might be on my computer, my old, old faithful, <laughs> old faithful computer, you know? So I might get into that. But Strongman Finance, boy, I will put, I will, you see this? I put this foot up. Yeah, yeah. Strong man finance. Get your ass done in these streets, boy. Yeah. What you want to do, strong man finance? Pull up on me, boy. Yeah, and that's hands. That's hands only. I ain't even showed you my, my, my itchy finger. Yeah. Strong man finance. Weak man finance. Anyways. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> I'm going to have a great weekend. Everybody's waiting for the earnings call. Excited for that shit. But remember, people, don't get caught up in these distractions. Just because someone makes 100 grand on a play doesn't mean you need to ooh and ah over there. Don't be like Dory. Ooh, ah. Don't be like that. Be a motherfucking boss. Make your own decisions. True. You feel me? But don't be a follower of distractions, especially if you're in the AMC. Everybody that's in the AMC, and I want to make this clear, okay? There are people that are, 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 that are on this particular stock that are struggling, okay? And this is why I'm, I'm, I'm being super serious. You can't sit here and try to finesse everybody. You can't sit here and say, hey, look at me. I made 100 grand over here. Well, you had the money to do that, motherfucker. 
yeah, there's opportunities. You're telling people with five dollars or ten dollars in their pocket, and who hey, if they if they made wrong decisions, that's on them, right? But there's people that may not even have money at all. They know about your plays. You're telling them about those plays. And here it is. You're gloating about your fucking plays. And guess what? They didn't make 100 grand. They didn't make 60 grand. They didn't make 30 grand. They didn't make 20 grand. They didn't make no grands. <laughs> okay? You're sitting here talking to these people every day. Okay? That's watching your YouTubes. That's watching Twitter. That's watching everything. Okay? So, everybody's not fortunate to do that, okay? So, just keep in mind as you're saying you're a part of a movement or at least a particular play. And, you know, some people, like I said, the disrespectful ones are treating this as a play. This is just a play. Don't. This is not a movement. This is just a play. Well, why the fuck you can't do what I do? Why the fuck you can't have stocks? Have a bad bitch, have a drop top, have my own, have your own house. How come you can't have none of that shit? How come you can't do what we do? I can get into other places. I just choose not to because the momentum is saying pressure on AMC, pressure on AMC, pressure on AMC. And I get it that like people are saying, well, you know, I'm selling my shares and I'm, you know, I got to do this. I got to take care of the family. I get that. I get that a lot. Trust me. But at some point, you're going to have to have that grown man conversation, that grown woman conversation, because some of you ladies are out there shopping. I know. I know. You got to hustle harder. I'm sorry, but you know that there's no time for excuses. There's no time for excuses. You understand? Ain't no time for excuses out here. Okay? If you can't get your shares... Fine. Wait till fucking next week when you get paid and just say, hey, that's when I'm going to buy my shares. I waited two weeks to get my shares. So what? You waited two weeks. You got a two week paycheck. So what? Blow two hundred dollars on that shit each every two weeks. Who gives a fuck? That's your that's what you want to do. That's your investment. But just remember, everybody all year, we do not want to lose momentum of AMC. With distractions of other plays. Hey, but look, it's, it's making money. Who gives a fuck? You give a f that's That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. You want to say, hey, make money over here. And then make money over here. And be a little weasel. See, I can get a hundred grand right now. Good for fucking you. But for the rest of everybody else that ain't like us that can get money. Some of these people are working at like. Regular nine to five jobs, and they're just hearing you talking about a hundred grand here, and oh, I'm the shit. You ain't shit. You see, you, the difference between me and some of you motherfuckers is I can have a hundred grand and still be able to kick it, smoke a blunt with some of my my dogs. Some of you get a hundred grand, and you think all you need is great coupon now. So that's why you're an outsider. You can never fuck with the real rebels. So that's what this is all about. That's what this is really about. Some of you really want to just get rich and be snooty when the rest of us are trying to get rich and take care of families. Like, real shit. We understand everybody is still struggling with this shit. Some people are holding, really holding. Some people bought in at, at $50 and still holding. You need to talk to these people, too. You don't just sit there and abandon them and say, hey, there's other plays. Who the fuck are you? You understand? Who the fuck are you? That's what I'm on. I'm on some shit like, listen, you out here, you you out here working, you, you take care of your family, you doing your thing, you got all them shares, you want to get more, fine. You, maybe you got to sacrifice not getting an extra beer. Maybe you got to sacrifice not getting a cigar or something. Maybe you got to sacrifice and, you know, do other things. But as you know, you want you want this to be this is a, a pure investment all in on AMC. OK, some people, you know, but listen, there are there are exceptions. If you can, if you want to make plays by yourself, trust me, I'm all forward. You know what I'm saying? There there is one play that I got into that 
I don't preach anymore because I said I said my one or two things, and that's all I'm gonna fucking say about it. If you missed what I fucking said, that's your fucking ass. Maybe go look at my other videos, see what I said. But it's AMC all the way over here because I know the potential of AMC. I've seen what it does. Me and Gorilla Knuckles had this conversation. Okay, so <clears throat> I just some of y'all. Some of y'all, well, this will be y'all face right here. Some of y'all. But it's okay because, like I said, you want to keep saying AMC is your family, but you treat it like a little stepsister. Okay? This ain't the time to treat shit like a little stepsister or whatever. Oh, you just in the family because you just, you know, you're married to us, but you ain't blood. No, this ain't that motherfucking time. Okay? I'm talking to the real struggling, hardworking motherfuckers that's really getting this money, making sacrifices while you motherfuckers sit there all day and say, look, I know the charts. I know this. I know that. You don't know a motherfucking thing. You don't know a motherfucking thing. You can keep all that motherfucking money. But you know what? Like I said, some of this shit, some of this ape shit is exposing who really give a fuck about humans at the end of the day. That's all I give up. That's all I see. Who give a fuck about humans? Who is all just for themselves? Are you really for family or are you really for yourself? That's all I want to know. And you don't got to tell me. You ain't got to you ain't got to post videos. You ain't got to say nothing. You don't have to do anything. But just know that the people will judge who stuck by their fucking side the entire time? Who was on their side the entire time while they didn't have shit? When they was like all on AMC. And here it is. Everybody that they adored or listened to or wanted to get advice from, they start going into other things and just ignoring AMC altogether. Those people are going to judge you. And then when AMC starts going green, you want to show up like a motherfucking shapeshifter.